Hey guys, Brady here. Welcome back to Out of War. Here we are for another episode. Uh, last episode was a time lapse of us um, drilling well, underground mining out this side and in here, down this side, down this little tunnel as well, and across through here. This is all done. This tunnel's pretty much done now because if we look at the um, map, uh, look where we are and what angle we're at, there's not really anything for. Uh, there's still a little bit, but it's a fair way away. So. Uh, we may cut that tunnel short. I'm sort of... There's a bloody big node over there. Let's have a look and see how we're going to get to that. Get to that heading this way. So we could possibly continue one of these guys on and head that way. Just sort of thinking how we can do that. We can probably... We would have to get rid of these guys. Uh, get rid of that and take those floor out and we'll go with some conveyor ups in there. Uh, that'll go down and then we need to get rid of these guys and go conveyor downs in here. Like that and then we'll be able to put in um, a flat piece in the middle, and we can either go. We'll probably just go four wide. But not uh, four wide. Yeah, we'll probably go four wide. I guess that's probably going to be the way to go. I think four wide would be better. That way, we're not having to stress too much about um, having enough room and that sort of stuff. So, my initial plan was to completely come out of this tunnel and go to a different tunnel, but I was really going to head. I think it was this way, maybe went that way or went towards there, I don't know which one it was now, but we'll, we'll clean out this bit down here, and then we'll have a look. So I know I haven't had a lot of content out lately, um, a lot of you guys may know if you have seen it that I'm training for a fight night coming up in November. So my time for recording and stuff is being affected quite a bit, to be honest. Um, I'm trying to be able to train, work, um, record, do a bit of everything, and it's just, it's pretty bloody tough trying to fit everything in. So I do apologize that content isn't coming out as fast as I previously did it, and as fast as I would like to do it, but um, now I've only got uh, about seven weeks or so before this fight, so I need to really focus on that. And um, unfortunately, recording and stuff is sort of taking a bit of a back seat at the moment. Still want to try and get a bit of stuff out. Um, you know, like today, it's now 12:30. Um, I had a one-on-one -on -one PT session at 10 o'clock this morning. Um, 10 to 11, I stayed back for another half an hour or so, I did a few other things, I got home, took the dogs for a walk, and now I'm back at uh, 5.30 this afternoon for a full class, so I'm spending a lot of time at the gym trying to get fight ready, um, it's just not leaving a lot of time for recording, family time, you know, all that stuff, so just hoping that I can keep training, keep doing the right thing, and Put on a decent performance for this fight. That's really the main thing that I'm focusing on at the moment. Um, yeah, so if you guys haven't seen it, um, head over to my page, look at the community tab. There is a link to Happy Cam Sports, who will be live streaming the fight on the night. So you guys will be able to jump in to the live stream and watch me either go alright or get my head absolutely smashed in. I don't know what's going to happen yet so we'll have to just wait and see. Right, let's jump out and get this connected so I know where the floor is. Right there we go, we need to try and... doesn't like digging straight down like here. Try and get as much of this as we can. Keep that right up. You can see it just struggles. The 
better off probably just removing it with a tool, which I hate doing because we're losing... Uh, we're losing stuff, but it's better than spending the next 20 minutes trying to bloody dig it out properly. Right, so yeah, so with work, you know, family stuff, this fight thing coming up, I'm sort of struggling for time, but it's also... There's a new update coming out on 23rd, 24th of September for Out of War, so... Once that hits, it's going to be bloody awesome. Well, I hope it'll be awesome, but it sounds like it's going to be really good, so... Sort of, I don't want to put out too much content before then. Um, and also, I mean, with any game, you guys would know... Playing it too much, you can sort of burn yourself out, so I don't want to do that either. Alright, we're going to need to put in some conveyors, so I think I'm going to need... Yep, to go back. This way, quite a way. Right, so there and there, throw in a conveyor. Get rid of those guys, and then throw in conveyors again. So I still hope you guys have been enjoying the series. Um, so it's still going to keep coming to the channel. It's just a little bit slow at the moment with other priorities, but it's going to keep smashing it out as much as I can. All right, do we go? Now I think we might just do this. Bring this over, and then we'll make that our sort of our wall here. So this whole area here will be enclosed. So if we go one, two, three, I don't even know where that went, then five. But I know there's still more coal there, but look at that, perfect. Just about perfect. Actually, that is perfect. Right, I think I want to go across from there, or maybe one higher, I think it was. Yeah, like that. Uh, three, four, five. I don't know where that last one went either. All right, so that this will be a new, a new tunnel system. I don't know if they're going to get rid of that either. It's a little bit annoying. Like I like it, but it's also bloody pain in the ass at the same time. Uh, all right, let's get rid of this. Maybe we can throw this in the corner. Right there, and then get this started. Perfect. Alright, now we need to somehow get you over onto here, so we're going to need to get rid of this. Uh, bring in our concrete floors, we're going to have to buy some more conveyor straights. Now let's try and Get this guy over and in. And it should be able to head straight that way. Hopefully, we have a look here on the map. A trajectory is straight for this big node. And then there's another one over here. I need to go down and look at that tunnel as well and work out which direction that's going to head us in. Alright, so we should be able to just smash it straight down this way. Alright, so we'll get started, make sure as far down as we can. Now we can get rid of all the floors. And then we need to make sure that we have these guys in, so that way anything that's hitting here will fall to the system. And then we'll, we'll cover this up, obviously, later on. Alright, so we want to pretty much just keep going straight till we hit this next node. I don't know if it's coal, I don't know what it is, but we know it's there, so we're just going to keep heading that way until we hit it, find out what it is, and go from there. So this whole area here will be enclosed. We're not going to worry about chasing that coal up above. My other option, my other thought was to come back to the start and then dig down and try and take another lower, a lower pass. 
of the coal. Um, so yeah, you guys let me know what you think about that idea. So we come back all the way to the start. Sorry, excuse my dog in the background. What the hell does that keep doing that for? Um, come back. Maybe not to there to say... Well, actually, we're probably going to have to come back quite a ways. And go down, and then take another pass, and then come back, go down, take a whole other pass. But you can see it's quite painful to open the whole area up. I've still got to come through and shore up all the roof and the walls and that sort of stuff. But you guys let me know if that's something you think we should do. Drop down another level, because there's all coal underneath here, and I think it goes infinitely right down to the bottom of the map. So, which... I don't think there is a bottom of the map. Or do we just keep keep it on this level and we just keep chasing nodes that we can see? Right, so once I've got to this node, I want to run around and check that other little tunnel we've got and see if these will actually meet up. They meet up in like a little T-junction, that'll be pretty cool as well. Right, there we go, we're already into this node. like a pretty big bloody node actually so I don't know how we're going to go trying to dig this whole thing out but we'll give it a crack right let's throw some blocks down either side so obviously once this um new update comes out where they're doing a lot of work with the dirt and stuff we'll go back to open pit mining instead of underground but for the moment I'm going to focus a lot on underground so it looks like another coal node unfortunately I mean, it's money, but it's not as good money as, you know, the lithium or what the other nodes sort of hold in them. Right, we need to get to the other side of it and then completely box it out, I guess. It's one of those things we'll just need to keep looking at the map and work out where we are, how far past we want to go, and then just open the whole thing up. Like a big square underneath. It's just the other thing is I'm not really sure how to transfer all the materials to the wash plant. Like obviously we've got four going into three, which is okay. But then these three are going into one. Is going into two every time we blast, it puts a lot of pressure on that one conveyor there to get into the two. So we may need to extend that and put another conveyor in over there. Right, let's have a look at the map quickly. Whereabouts are we? We've got heaps to go, and I don't know, that's not a note there. Just here, so we need to sort of come through to maybe there, then box this whole thing out. Pardon me, sorry guys, it, maybe if we even, um, if we overdig it a little bit, it's not going to matter too much. I'd rather overdig it than underdig it. But, um, and also you guys let me know if, you, if you're if you getting bored of the underground stuff, you know, let me know as well and we'll, we'll change it up a bit. We'll do, you know, underground open cut, just whatever. I just want you guys to still be able to enjoy this series, but as I said, once this new update comes out and the whole open cut dirt experience changes, we're going to absolutely smash it out. Go back up to where the coal plant is and start moving a whole ton of dirt. I'm hoping we can maybe get to level 50 by then to unlock the bigger trucks and I think is it the biggest excavators as well? Uh, level 60 they are. Wheel load is 50, and then the truck, I think, is 50 and 60, yeah, so sort of aiming for 50 before the next update, if we can. Alright, how are we on the map? Yeah, so maybe one more conveyor after this one, and then we'll just come back to the start, and then we're going to have to try and box it all out. It's 
it's one of those things like how do we how do we box it out? Do we do what we did before and do we come down? Take these four conveyors down. Actually looks like we're hitting a node again, so we're not gonna do one more conveyor and box it out, we're gonna keep going. Right, and throw that in. I think that went in the right spot. Right, so let's have a look at the map now. So it looks like we may... It looks like it's hitting another node. I don't know where this other node's come from. I can't see this one on the map, I don't think. So we'll just keep going. There's a lot of work I want to do to tidy up this underground mine as well, but it's just... I don't want to do it as a time lapse because me placing blocks in a time lapse is just bloody hectic for you guys trying to keep up. So it may be something I just do off camera. Just want to tidy it up, make it look pretty. Still going, this node's huge. Right, make sure we come back and get all the stuff from underneath. There we go, I think that might be the end of it now. So once we get past it, we'll do another conveyor. And then we'll see what happens. If we don't find any more coal, we'll come back to the start and... Oops. Yeah, let's try not to jump out of it while it's still moving. Be good if it actually kept digging and producing dirt. That would be awesome we could just jump out and let it just keep going straight. I don't think it does, I think it just keeps going and then it hits the wall and stops. That'd be something cool that if Christian could implement like an automated thing for these underground machines. So we, like this, we just hit cruise control and then we just get out and it does its own thing. Right, all the way back to the start and we'll need to do the right hand side, the left hand side again. Just if we go full left or full right, it doesn't allow the machine to fit as well. So we need to do both conveyors and then do either side, which takes time. So we need to work out roughly where we're going to start to box it out as well. So three million bucks, I think. I think I had it written down. We had uh, three point one. I had written down. I don't think. Uh, what the hell? How the hell does that happen? Nothing there. There's nothing for it to join into. Lose the money like that. Yeah, I'm not sure how much money we made from that actual time lapse. I spent a bit on um, explosives and we've spent a bit on conveyors and stuff, so not 100% sure. Right, so we're going to come back through and take this side out now. So let's run through, so here, uh, where are we, is this where we start boxing it out from here, yeah so maybe this one, where we start boxing it out, bring that wall back, that line up, two, three, four and five, perfect, that line's up perfect, right so we'll start boxing it out from there, and we'll start heading this way. I think that should get all the coal that's in here. So we'll just keep digging all the way to the other end and then we'll go and look in that other tunnel and see if these guys are actually gonna line up. It'd be pretty cool if it lines up, we can make a big T-junction down the end here somewhere. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. Let's throw down some blocks down the side as well. Jump in and just keep going. So, doesn't seem like a long way, like it. On the map, it looks like we're going to travel a long way, but once you get moving, it's really not that far. I think if we box out from here, as I said, we'll get all of this coal node. Huge amount of money. Alright, so I'm sort of lost at what to talk about now. Um, nothing exciting is happening at work for me. There's no real news or anything, nothing I can sort of talk about. Um, had a couple of new trainees, I guess, of me the other day that jumped up in the 797 with me. So, a couple of new guys starting in the industry. So, um, it's good to sort of... I'm not a trainer or anything, uh, which I would like to be eventually, to be able to help train these guys. But it's still good to sort of have them with you and... Um, I said not train them, they were sitting in the passenger seat while I was driving, but to sort of explain how the diggers' shovels work, how the dumps work, and sort of just go through things, so that way when they actually get up with their trainer, get behind the wheel of their truck, they're sort of prepared, can sort of understand and, you know, to sort of teach them things that I was taught, which really helped me when I was a trainee. You know, like watch the digger, learn how they dig, why they dig that way, same as on the dump, watch the dozer work out why the dump runs a certain way you know the start and finish corners of the dump work you need to understand that they usually want them double loads so they can get the corners and the sides of the dump right and just it's heap of little things but you know hopefully some of the stuff I told them they will understand and be easy for them when they actually get in the truck and start moving and just hopefully they have a good career like as I said to any trainee that I ever get the chance to you know talk to or help out that it's an opportunity of a lifetime for us here in Australia like it's a great job it's not a hard job but it's also not an easy job um, but it's opportunity of a lifetime you know, you're driving one of the biggest trucks in the world you're making bloody good money you know you can set yourself and your family up for life so you need to sort of get in get the job done learn the best you can and just you know always try and give it your best every day uh, be safe operate well you know and then you'll set yourself up for life you know if you do the right thing and um you know you just don't expect to have things handed to you you need to continue to work hard even when you finish your traineeship in your experienced operator you're on a little bit better money but you still got to work hard each and every day to strive to you know make your goals whatever your goals are like I've got goals of operating a dozer digger shovel and stuff like that I'm still reasonably young not too old I'm only 38 so I've got you know places I want to go to my mining career but there's other people that I work with that they don't care they just want they're happy just driving a truck like and everyone's different so you know, whatever makes you happy, you just do it. Just roll with it. Right, so one more conveyor and then we're right to the end. Right, and then I think we might throw in... I don't know if it's worthwhile trying to throw in a blast. Just because we don't have the walls dug out yet. Go right to the end. Let's back this thing all the way back to the start. We still still need to do either side. But I don't want you guys getting too bloody bored. It's not overly exciting doing this, but it's what we need to do to make a bit of money. So keep getting our levels up, keep progressing, getting ready for this new update when it finally drops. Just hoping it's it's going to be good. Hopefully they've done a lot of work with the dirt and they can just make it work how, how it should work and how we want it to work I guess I'm trying to get that I don't think it's going to let me go that way is it no i get rid of you put that there I 
I just have to do it this way. There we go, and then take all those out. Just so we know that's the end. I'm not going any further than this at this stage. Like that, and then we'll go back to the start. Depending on whereabouts we are on the map. If we look at the map, we've got way past this. I don't know why. There was a node there as well. That's really weird. Right, let's go and look down this other corridor and see what we can find down here. See, I've got so much work to do in here, it's not funny. Ah, uh, this here, I said I need to put in another... Another bloody conveyor for when this fills up. Pretty much need to do that now. That, and then conveyor... That way, I think that went the right way. If it did, good. Right, then we need to get rid of some of this so it doesn't get caught up in the system. Give me... what the hell is it giving me green there for? No idea. Right, there we go. And then we need to go get rid of that out of there. We need to do another up. Way up there. And yeah, perfect. That should fall straight down and in. That can go there. Right. And then that pretty much goes two into one again. So we need to sort of do this here as well, I guess. Uh, it's really not going to work. It's just going to be too bloody hard trying to do that. We'll just we'll just leave it. That's fine the way it is. All right, let's go and have a look and see what this other hallway where it's going to end up. I think it will probably end up just meeting up with the other one and making it like a T-junction, so... Uh, map. Maybe not. It's going to go to there somewhere. I think we were about there, maybe. So it may it'd go pretty close, I think. Uh, map, where are we? I want to go map. There we go. Uh, drive. Get this thing back out. So I think it, it may line up. I'm not 100% sure if it will or not, but we'll come back. I'll take out either side. Um, and then I guess we'll throw in a time lapse again for next episode. So I know you guys, a lot of you guys aren't a fan of time lapses, but I think it's better than sitting here pushing this thing forward for another half an hour and feeling like you're getting nowhere and me trying to ramble on for half an hour to keep you guys bloody entertained, so I don't know. I don't know what to do, but I know some of you guys love it, some of you guys don't like it, but I do know the fact is I can't please everybody, unfortunately. would like to, but not everyone enjoys it. Some people love it, some people hate it, but it is what it is. I do whatever I can do. I'd rather throw it a time lapse than throw out no content at all so you guys sort of just need to bear with me so um, right here guys we'll end this episode here hopefully you guys did enjoy this one if you did as always smash that like button leave a comment let me know what you think of the series so far any ideas suggestions moving forward if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys please do so it's been Brito thanks for watching we'll see you again soon